This is Katie Hunter from MA UK. I'm here with Modestus Bukowskis, who is back, baby. Oh, yeah. No, don't call me the comeback king for nothing, right? <laughs> Modestus, <laughs> like, you've been through it. You've been through some really dark times, getting cut, getting injured, and then just having to go through everything that comes after that because people obviously tell you that they're they're sorry when that happens and then you kind of feel like you're you're kind of brushed off to the side quick to forget you know obviously when that happened uh you know i was just literally just sitting in my bed uh with my leg up in this massive cast probably the most painful uh surgery i've had in my life i had these things stuck up my nose couldn't even breathe properly and like you kind of fit even i remember after the fight just sitting in my hotel room thinking what the hell is next like you already know possibly what's going to happen and then uh yeah going home having to go do the operation trying to stay as positive as possible and then things just keep tumbling down you know a lot of people wrote me off a lot of people said that i would never come back um and you know uh i've definitely proved them all wrong um you know it's a very tough fight lee chadwick is a, a tremendous opponent um and obviously to, to be in the cage and share the cage with uh, a legend such as that is obviously a complete honor to me. Um, but yeah, like, like I say, depression, um, not knowing what's happening next, no money, you know, getting cut from the UFC, everyone just forgetting, everyone thinking you're never going to do it. And uh, yeah, so this, this was a very special moment for me. That's why I had to get a bit emotional at the end, just because it's been a long time coming. And um, now I'm coming back and back with a vengeance. Talk, talk to me about the walkout because like you look like you were savoring every moment oh 100 percent. when i had that gladiator song playing that that really rung true to me uh, i actually uh i've got to thank my training partner will curry um he he's just been instilling a load of like gladiator type you know battle ready type things and you know like he's been massive help with me in, in my last week leading up to the fight and uh yeah that moment was i, I just visualize it every day coming out to the crowd embracing the crowd i could see all my all my my very close people and um i felt their energy you know i felt their energy and um like i said i had to really feel this moment you know as much as the nerves and this and that come into play as soon as i felt the energy of the crowd getting into the cage i'm like this is what i'm meant to be doing so yeah it was a very amazing moment and you mentioned lee there like he is a veteran of the sport like you could have picked an easier fight like a tune-up fight to get back to it but like i said to you when we spoke last week like that's one of the biggest domestic matchups they could make for you like one of the biggest names a hundred percent i mean yeah a pioneer of uk mma uh you know he's fought one of my um uh one of my training partners and very good friends dennis and sutherland you know uh when i just couldn't get an opponent you know I, I was waiting really since april to to find something i had pullouts i had opportunities that got missed out because people didn't want to fight or for whatever reason um then we signed with cage warriors and then you know i was kind of sitting there just training 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 thinking november 4th is coming up very soon who the hell is going to take a fight now i was thinking maybe november 12th november 20th and then next thing you know lee chadwick come through uh come through the text by my manager and uh you know <laughs> When that name came through, obviously I was very excited. At that point, I just wanted to fight. You know, I just wanted to get back in there. But of course, he's very tough. I mean, look at his last fight that he fought in PFL. He he absolutely smashed it in that fight. Did really well. Uh, I believe he's probably going to continue in the in the PFL with that win. So, you know, um, an amazing. He's an amazing guy as well. We had a chat afterwards. He's a lovely guy. We've been friends on Instagram for a while. So it's a respectful battle, but a battle of trying to take each other out. And I enjoyed it. You cracked him with some amazing shots. Were you surprised that he hit, that he was that durable? Well, he cracked me with a couple a couple good ones as well. I tried to st stay out of range and stay out of the way of those those big shots. I knew I had a reach advantage on him. Um, I did get him with a couple of good shots. I wanted to try and set things up a little bit better, but he was pressuring quite a lot. I mm. didn't really want to go in for the takedown uh, just because I knew about his, his grappling pedigree. But, you know... I, these are things that are now I know like I'm going to try and put those out into the fight in the future. These, this is all a learning curve because I can wrestle. I can, you know, I'm good on the ground. I know I can do these things. And uh, this was definitely, this was a sign for me like, do you know what? I actually can do this. I'm just going to go ahead and just let it out a bit more. Um, you know, it, it was very hard trying to find the range and trying to pick off the right shots because he had, you know, lovely overhands, lovely counters. And I had to stay out of the way and, you know, try and try and find things a little bit better. I didn't want him to catch my legs, so I didn't I didn't really throw too many kicks. 
but um, yeah, uh, not a tune-up fight at all by any means. Um, but it was a very, very good win. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm proud of that. You did throw a few kicks. How does the leg feel? The leg feels absolutely amazing. I, I probably could have thrown a hell of a lot more, to be honest with you. But again, timing and, and things like that, these are things that we work on, you know. Um, first fight back after 14 months, I just got to keep building my confidence and uh, keep building the skill sets and, and just slowly start letting them out there. I've got to give a massive thanks to to Danny Batten and, and Gintas, my dad, uh, in the corner. They were absolutely amazing. They told me exactly what I needed to do. Uh, they're very calm, they're, they're very composed, very professional, and uh, I couldn't ask anything more, really. And are you injury-free coming out of Absolutely injury free. I'm ready to go. Uh, in actual fact, uh, I know that they have a Team USA v Team Europe card on New Year's Eve. That would be an absolutely amazing card for me to get onto. Listen, I was the only Cage Warriors light heavyweight champion for a long time. I vacated it and went to the UFC. How how big of an event would it be for your former Cage Warriors light heavyweight champion to come back and fight for the belt against an American lad? So I think that would be a hell of a fight to make. We'll see what happens, but uh, I, I hope that they get it done. That's the day after my birthday as well. Oh, that would be a massive what birthday. What a birthday present, present yeah. <laughs> Proper celebrations <laughs> afterwards. Champagne flying out everywhere, yeah. <laughs> Modestus, you honestly, just your, your mindset, your mentality, just who you are as a person, you always blow me away. I'm so proud to know you, so proud to call you my mate, oh, and I'm so, so much, chuffed with that performance for you. It's always amazing talk. Oh, there you go. The lights gone. Ah. It's always amazing talking to you. You're you're absolutely amazing. Like I said, like I mean, I just said it before we started the interview, but you've supported me since day one. You've always told me I was going to get back. I remember, I remember we had the same look whenever we were at the York Hall watching the other fights, and you know. You, you know it's just a kind of like I know you're going to get back in there and now we finally uh, now we finally got it again so uh, yeah now honestly it's been an amazing journey and, and I'm looking forward to many more interviews with you Katie me too